The next type of policy is the advisory policy. Now, this is the policy that once we've covered all the legal and regulatory bases, an organization can come back and say, these are the things which we require of our employees, contractors, and people with whom we do business. They're very strong statements that specify behavior and the associated consequences. One example may be, we require identification of all people who come to our facility. Well, now how that's implemented happens later down in the pipeline in the standards, guidelines, and the particular procedures, which we'll cover next. But in the policy, the high-level policy, an advisory policy would state, we want this to happen, and if someone does not comply with this basic policy, the associated consequences may be, you cannot do business with us any longer. If it's an employee policy, you may be terminated. So it has both strong statements and the consequences. Informative. Another type of policy is an informative policy in which the management takes the time to explain certain philosophical areas of doing business with this particular organization. It may state a strategy. Uh, I mentioned in an earlier example the cola industry. Well, soft drinks and colas, there's one particular organization whose strategy is to make sure that every person on the face of the earth tastes their product by a certain date and time. That would be an organizational strategy that you would probably want to put in your security policy. Another example may be to state that it is our policy that every employee satisfies all of the legal requirements or all of the security requirements set forth in our guidelines or our standards. And again, it's a very high-level policy. It states direction. 